In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of conducting, conducting a chi-square test for independence in JASP. Chi-square test for independence is when you have two categorical variables. And you want to look for whether there's a relationship between the two of them. I'm using this data set, fictional scale data version 2, which is available in the description of this video. What we would be doing here is let's suppose that we want to look at gender and race. This is fictional data, it's fairly random, um, so I probably won't find any kind of relationship. But I'm looking to basically see, um, is there a relationship between gender and race or are they independent? Um, if there's a relationship between the two, what it means is something like this will happen. Um, one of the racial groups is, is more heavily male and female than another, okay? So I may find that one racial group is is 75% male and another racial group is, is only 25% male. If, I, if that kind of thing is going on to a significant degree, we can find it with a chi-square test. So that's what we're going to do here. What I want you to do is look up at the frequencies drop down, and if we go there, we're going to contingency tables. Contingency tables is what we use. So go ahead and click on that. And what we're going to do is just, we're going to put one of our variables, it doesn't matter which, as in the rows. Okay, I'll put gender as the rows. And we're going to put another variable, doesn't matter which, in the columns. And again, it doesn't matter which, okay? Once I've done that, it automatically has popped up this information for me on the right. Um, it's given me um, this two-way table, which shows me basically for gender one, which is males, and race one, I have this many individuals. But for gender one and race two, I have this many individuals, and so forth. Um, so my 116 individuals fall into these cells. We call them these, these groupings, okay? So we look at those, and what we want to know is, is there some significant difference uh, in how gender is distributed among the races or how races are distributed within the genders, okay? That's essentially what we're looking at. And we can see something. Um, minor here, like for example, you see with your eye that, okay, we've got um, only maybe 50% more-ish among group three than group two in, in gender two. Well, here, maybe it's a little bit less than that, okay? Uh, there's a, eyeballing it, maybe there's a slight difference. The statistical test, however, the chi-score test is statistically non-significant, so we conclude that, that that difference was not not statistically significant. We don't have enough evidence to say that race is distributed differently by gender or gender is distributed differently by race within my sample. So that's what we can find there. And as with all the other um, things, there are some options. So let's go ahead and, and click on this statistics first. A lot of this gets into things that are quite a bit more complex than I want to talk about. Just wanted to show you these various things exist in case you are someone who, who understands them and has had a course in this and understands some of the more um, advanced things that you can do with chi-square. There is some explanation, of course, of these various options if you click on the blue eye, right? But in this, for this particular video, I am just showing you the nuts and bolts of how to do a basic test. I'm not going to get into all depth of all the various options. Um, if you click on the cells options, what this does is um, that'll give you some additional information that you might actually want to look at, particularly if there is statistical significance. This first one gives you the expected count. What that is, is it says if it is true that gender and race are perfectly independent of each other, perfectly. This is how many I expect to see in each of these cells. I expect to see about 40 Okay, that are in gender one and race one, I only have 38. I expect to see 13 that are gender one and race two, I only have five, and I have 15. It's essentially the differences between these values um, that, are, that are used to create the statistic and do the test. We're looking for these gaps. So if you did find statistical significance, you could look at these values and you could say, okay, um, I can see that the the biggest gap maybe is right here, and maybe that's where something unusual is happening in my data. Um, the other thing you can do is you can look at things in terms of percentages. Okay, so if I click on that, that tells me in race one, I have 52%, okay, I mean within gender one, I have 52% in race one, 
But in gender two, I have 61% in race one. So the, that's, there's a little bit of a difference there. Um, overall, say 56% of the people are in race, race one. So that's, the, again, information if you do have statistical significance that you can look at in order to better understand what is going on. Okay, and you have a variety of other things here. I don't want to go into it again in, in great detail, um, but I just want to let you know those options exist. This is the basics of how you run chi-score test here in JASP.